Can you hear me now? Uh, thank you very much. So uh, everyone, welcome to my um, lesson, lesson two uh, about English grammar. Today, our contents are syllable and number. I believe that all of you have read a little bit about the syllable and the number that I sent to you earlier by email. Okay. Um, let me know if the sound is still okay and the video is all right. Hello, Anna. Good morning. Welcome, everyone. So, I'm happy to see you once again, you know, as our regular lesson, too. All right. So, did you have the chance to read the course curriculum and the always remember to send your homework uh, by the Senko I have got your homework by email thanks for sending it uh, I'm going to check it later so syllable if you remember syllable is the basic concept of speech studied in phonetics and phonological analysis Uh, C level are the easiest way to break the word so it can be pronounced easily, correctly, and effectively. English language is like a musical rhythm. And honestly, every syllable must have a vowel. For example, snap, basket. You see, in snap, there is a vowel and a, uh, and in basket, there are two vowels and a uh, and e. Okay, uh, because our class is this lesson is time controlled, so we should go uh, as quick as possible, and we can come back if there is any questions or comments. And also, Sanko Anna, uh, please do let me know if you have got any questions at all. Always let me know. Okay, I'm here to help and support you. Remember that. Hello, Johanna. Can you hear me, Johanna? Hi, Monica. Welcome. Uh, Monica, I asked you to send your email. Can you please send me an email later so that I can send these materials to you? Yohana, can you hear me? Yes. Hello, teacher Ahad. That's great, Yohana. I'm happy to see you. Would you please let me know where are you from and what do you do? Quickly. Uh, I'm from Indonesia and I just woke up from my nap. <laughs> okay. Did you have a chance to read out the lesson and can you please send me the homework later? All of you, not only you. I'll read this part. Yeah, you know the homework I send for yeah, every lesson there is a homework part. I, I suggest that you complete it and send it to me later. Okay. We are just uh, going to discuss only the lesson at the moment. Okay. Uh, did you have a chance to read the lesson which I sent you earlier? You wanna?
Yes, can you hear me? Okay, uh, I was asking you, did you have the chance to read the lesson? Oh, yes, I read them all. Okay, so syllable, briefly, three types. Uh, mono, di, and poly. You know, these three words are Latin words. Mono means single or one. Di means two. And poly means more than two. And... In the broader explanation, there are six types of syllables. Uh, do you remember why do you need to study syllable, which is the basic grammar, Johanna? Um, I think it can help us to understand the spelling. Yes, yeah, spelling and pronunciation both. So that really is helpful. Okay, so um, six type is closed, ends with a consonant. A short vowel sound like cat, bat, example, and open syllable that ends with a vowel, long vowel sound like go, no, etc. And magic -y, ends with vowel sound, long sound. You do you know the meaning of VCV? Does any of you know? Vowel, consonant, vowel. Very good. Bravo. Uh, to make sure understanding, pronunciation, and spelling. That's great, Anna. Thank you very much. Cool. That means you have studied well. That's very good. Uh, remember that once again, whatever we learn here, you must also practice in your in a, in a free or suitable time at home so that uh, you become more knowledgeable. Great. Like cake, bake. Lake, take, yeah, magic, vowel, vowel team. We call vowel team when two vowels make one sound. You know, what are the vowels, Johanna? A-E-I-O-U. Very good. These are all basic. Everyone knows that. In the board, you can see O and A. Similarly, in coat, O and A. But they make one sound. Boat, coat. And R control. R control means there are thousands of English words where you can find R, and bef before that, there is vowel sound. That is maybe A R, I R, E R, O R, all the vowel, A E I O U. Some examples are star and stare. Okay, by the way, Ihona and all the people, once again, remember that I'm trying to pronounce this R sound according to the British IP, where R is not pronounced at all. Okay, but if you want to sound like American, you must pronounce the R. So in instead of saying star, you should say star. Star, yes. So which one do you prefer, British IP or American IP? Johanna? Um, usually. I prefer American accent. Monica prefers British, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever you prefer, just stick to it. That will be my suggestion. And it will be my another important advice. I should say advice in this case. Whenever you're following a, an IPA, try to stick to it. Like if you follow the American IPA, follow it. If you'd like to follow the British IPA, just follow it, but don't get it mixed. If you are not sure, about any IP, always get it checked by the suitable you know, source like, you know, if you are American IP, check from the Miriam Webster, the, the famous dictionary online, okay, it's free. And if you like to get it checked from the British IPA, go to, you know, Oxford, you know, a dictionary or maybe Cambridge. I mostly follow Cambridge dictionary. Yeah, okay. Uh, then control alley. There are thousands of words that has got alley at the end, like um, turtle, myrtle. Can you give me one example that has got alley at the end? Table. Very good. Okay. Cable, mm -hmm. Cable level. Even in the C level, there is alley. You can see. <laughs> Yeah, 
All right. So how to count syllable? That means how we can spell and pronounce the word correctly. There are a few ways. Uh, so remember that in these lessons, we have tried to shorten it, give you the, the gist information. So always practice a little bit more at home. One vowel sound like go, no, call. Can you please give us an example, Ihona, for one vowel sound? Truck. Very good. Split a double consonants. You know the double consonant when there are two types, two concepts together. We call uh, the example is butter. British IPA, butter, butter, American IPA. Battle. Yeah, battle. battle. Very good, battle. Yeah. Okay, I'm reading the comments as well. Sakniti, <laughs> welcome. And second one, can you please give us an example, Ihona? Double consonant. Uh, rabbit. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, one greatest uh, rule of pronunciation is that if there are double consonant, remember, we should always pronounce only one consonant in this when you are uh, you know trying to pronounce it. So though there are double being rabbit, so we don't say rabbit, we don't say butter, yeah, butter. Battle, rabbit, Ac accent, for example, okay, illegal. Though sometimes people say that illegal, that is incorrect. Illegal, though there are double L, illegal, yeah. And this is uh, one of the, another good example is that, you know, many Muslims names have, like, for example, Mohammed, there is double M, people say Mohammed. Uh, then people say Rabbi. Actually, it should be according to the phonetics technique, it should be Rabbi, Muhammad, Abdullah, Allah. Okay. Clear, Yehana? Very clear. Very good. Uh, then compound words. Remember compound words? I was explaining on the other day. Compound words are those words when it it is connected to two different words, like dog and house, dog house. Spring and roll, spring roll. Can you give me a an example of compound word, Yohana? Butterfly. Very good, butterfly. Mm -hmm. Then spit it again, VCCV, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. Like elbow, doctor, teacher. Uh, then spit it again, uh, CLE. You know, this consonant with Ali. Turtle. The famous movie Ninja Turtle. Have you watched it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> All right. Uh, then a cradle. Uh, it's, you know the prefix and suffix? Prefix and suffix. Did, um, mm -hmm. In the beginning, and one is at the beginning. And yeah which one is beginning do, do you know the prefix. yes remember pre means beginning before and suffix is always that at the end if you can remember one you will remember the other one automatically very good you know time goes quickly okay this is a home little bit homework can we explain why syllable is important you can send me later, okay, this space. That's why I kept it blank. Okay, number. What is number in English grammar? So, is it better? Mm -hmm. Go on. Uh, quantity. Mention what kind of quantity? Yes, exactly. Quantity. <clears throat> Sorry. Content is like one, two, three, four, first, second, third, fourth, to infinity. Do you know the meaning of infinity? Unlimited. Unlimited. Very good. Okay. Why do numbers need to be understood? Okay. It helps realize how a sentence is formed in different time with different kinds of person. Also, subject-verb agreement. This is one of the important, you know, 
grammatical features here subject verb agreement that means if the subject is first person singular number verb should be first person i mean verb should be singular number verb is not first person sorry uh, then similarly uh, first person plural number verb should be plural verb so we are going to explain a little bit later what is a singular verb plural verb okay so i'm sure you know that there are two types of numbers mainly in english grammar singular and plural from the from the name singular singular came from the word single so it must be always single okay and i'm sure johanna very often you get this question when you go to any live stream people do ask you are you single or married yeah <laughs> they ask it i'm sure <laughs> i hear it this question every time oh teacher are you single or married and when i visit others live stream and sometimes male members ask the females and vice versa <laughs> okay I think the, most, the most asked question is how how can i make my english better like <laughs> i always see it like multiple times <laughs> that's right this is another common question i like to speak like you I always say, don't say like me, say better than me, make your dream high, big dream. That's why we have got course called Dreamer and course called Aspirer, okay? <laughs> okay, so I've got another question, Johanna. This is uh, the question from the topic, uh, lesson one. Do you read books every day? Um, I have no time for books, but i still read from news articles like from cnn or bbc that that's good as well you know because news is the combination and source of all kinds of vocabulary like politics corruption weather celebrity news football cricket science covid 19 geography discovery a lot of things okay senko says you know that your english is good yes I'm sure that all of the uh, people who have subscribed to me, their English is very good. By understanding grammar and ex you know, using in your conversation it will make you more better. I can feel it. Okay, so singular, single, plural is more than single. So uh, I'm sure I don't need to give you examples, but some singular numbers are I, John, Rahim, Janine. Janine is a Romanian name, okay? Ibrahim is a Muslim, a Trump, Messi, you know, he, she, eat, cow, boat, state, information, much, a little, scenario, physics. Did you notice that some of these examples are always in capitalized? Like I. I is, I is always should be capital form. Remember that. Regardless at the beginning of middle or at the end, wherever you use I must be capital form. And Rahim is an, uh, like a, an Asian name. And Ibrahim is like a, both, you can see, Christian or Muslim name. Trump is an American president, ex-president. Messi is a great footballer. And also look at the physics, the subject, which is a proper noun. If you remember, all these grammar lessons are interconnected, okay? One is connected to the next one. That's how I, you know, designed. for me to tell whether something is countable or uncountable okay that is a one quick way to remember uh, first try to understand about the what kind of object it is give me an example which you are confused so that i can explain to you in a better way lightning light lightnings yes. okay okay um, one of the greatest features of measuring countable or uncountable noun is when something is abstract, you know, we can't touch like knowledge, wisdom, information, air, yeah, water, we can touch, but money we can touch, but it is uncountable. Lightning, we can see in the sky. Can we touch it? We can see it, we can feel it. The things that we can see and feel, we call them abstract noun, okay? those are mostly uncountable oh so we will say uh i saw a lightning or the lightning? So, 
or many lightning okay now much and many remember we use much when it is uncountable we use many what is countable so, so what and should like, and no plurals okay much lightning yeah and if you want to make it more simplifier you simply i some lightning or thunder lightning much lightning it's scary <laughs> okay sanko is back welcome manika is here <laughs> great they're having conversation carry on <laughs> yeah everyone and if you have any question and comments in the meantime please do ask me remember by asking question is the only way to get it check whatever you know and whatever i know is same or not okay always cross check and please do ask and the plural numbers are very easy as you know you with the these those cows boards many look many here johanna state state states actually it should be i'll miss this uh, caesar spans etc there are also other two types of numbers that is the amazing part that is we used in mathematics but still it is important in grammar okay cardinal number we call cardinal number or those number the simply plain number like one two three four blah 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 million billion trillion okay and the smallest cardinal number is one and zero that is important matter for zero. zero is never considered as a cardinal number because it is not used in counting if it is at the beginning of the word if it is at the end of the word remember that zero is very much important and valuable because after one if you put zero it becomes 10 if you put two zeros it becomes 100 it increases 10 times so 100 then 1000 10000 100000 1 million all right zero to left yes this zero to left is yeah now i've got a question for you uh, is zero singular or plural mm. zero. Singular. 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 singular i don't know <laughs> if you use it in a sentence um zero suspect zero suspect mm -hmm. singular, singular? Uh, yeah, have you ever found this sentence? I have got zero dogs. That is a fa famous. I'm I'm writing. I have got zero dogs. I found this sentence in a oh, yeah. in an article. Yeah. Like zero mistakes. Make zero mistakes. Yes, zero mistakes. Remember, in English grammar, we consider zero is plural. Always, I've got zero dogs. Don't make zero mistakes. Always use, if you like to use zero with another noun or subject, try to use plural form. Zero dolls, zero mistakes, mm -hmm. zero possibilities, oh, yeah. zero chances. Okay. Well done, everyone. Okay, let's go quickly because uh, there are lots of rules. Uh, there are a few basic rules to, to form singular to plural numbers. I'm just you know, going to highlight the main. To make regular nouns, generally we add S, like cat, cats, house, houses. Uh, remember, Johanna, when you use house as a noun, that time the house S should be sound like S, house. But when you use as a verb, it should, the S should be sound like Z, housing, Z, Z, yeah? This is one of the differentiations between the noun and verb sometimes with adjectives house houses when we use house as a noun or adjective now if you use house as a verb like they need good housing from the government or government should provide us housing or shelter okay now this if the singular noun ends in s double s or sh ch x or z in British English, we call it Z. Americans say it Z. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm sure you know that Z and Z. So Sanko says, so you can say it. 
you can say not said i haven't got any dogs yes you can say that <laughs> yeah okay remember z in british english z in american english and the difference between the sound of z and s is s is s and z and z we stress on z with the tongue and the uh, tooth together so glass glasses bus buses marsh marshes lunch lunches tax taxes bleeds blizzes etc in some cases single nouns ending in s or z require double the s or z for example fez fezes gas gases uh, if the noun ends with f or fe that f is often changed to v for example wife wives wolf wolves yourself yourselves thief thieves look at the exceptions roof roofs do you know the meaning of roof um yes the top of our house very good uh, did you ever try to go to the roof Johanna? to your house <laughs> 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 when, when I was a child, you know, I, I always try to go to the roof and my parents are so upset. Come on, don't go there. You'll fall down and break your leg. <laughs> and it happened one day. I didn't listen to them. Honestly, I fell down and I got injured my, in my leg. You know, childhoods are the amazing time of our life. Belief, beliefs, similarly. Like uh, we use this word. Belief is a noun. Remember, belief with V is verb okay believe and belief so if a word uh, ends with f v s and d you must pronounce the last part correctly and loudly believe i believe that i have to practice a lot okay it's my belief that this we should have peace among the humans Always try to remember everyone, not only for you, yeah, you on everyone. When you learn a word, try to find out whether we can make the word from noun to verb or adjective or adverbs or any other forms so that you can make sentences. As a human brain, you know, it is a trend that we try to forget the words, whatever we learn, uh, because that's the reason behind it because in scientific explanation as a human we do not use more than five to ten percent of our brains the people who use more than ten percent of their brains they become the unique and scientists like einstein like shakespeare they, their brain they have used maybe 15 to 20 percent and normal humans we do not use more than five to seven percent <laughs> have you watched a movie called lucy it's an amazing movie yeah, though. Yeah. and it um, 100% we become nothing <laughs> we become one debater <laughs> yeah universal it means you know she is everywhere <laughs> okay <laughs> all right that's cool so if a single noun uh, next to ends with y and the y becomes is like city cities puppy puppies can you give us another example johanna or from the viewers sanko monica uh, Five to seven percent. Yes, Monica, that is the average. As a human, we use only five to seven percent. Any example of this rule number five? Anyone? Five. Uh, Sanko, my question is that if a noun ends with Y, the Y becomes IES in the plural form. Can you give us an example, a word? sky skies yes very good baby babies family families well yes baby babies bravo sanko and Yohana. very good but there is an ex example as a look if there is a vowel sound before y it takes yes look at the examples ray race boy boys toy toys Any other example, anyone? Yes, Anna, family, families. Well done. Okay. 
topic but may be uncountable. That's right. Very good. Claire is uncountable. Yes, day, days. Very good. Day, days. Mm -hmm. You know, after listening and reading this rule, someone says, teacher, how about say and says? Is it plural? <laughs> someone said that. Say is a verb. <laughs> yeah, the person was not aware that we can make plural of the, this word say. So says is a plural number, teacher? I said, no, it's a verb. <laughs> you see, uh, sometimes when you learn the English language rules, you'll find that it is a crazy language. Sometimes it follows the rules, sometimes it doesn't. OK? <laughs> if the singular noun ends in O, and we add ES generally, like potato, potatoes, tomato, tomatoes. Look. Exam exceptions, photo, photos. Can you give us an example with oh yes? I mean, then hello, hello, hellos. Do you know the meaning of hello? The, the rain. Mm -hmm. Ray. Hello is a light. Are you sure? <laughs> Okay, uh, Sanko says, says, said, past tense. Monica says, lie, lies. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hello. 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 You know, hello, this word, which we use hello for our, this is our website. This hello is a German. We, in German, we always use hello. Guten Tag. Yeah. Hello, guten Tag. Hello, they say like this, like a breaking to what? Hello. Yes. Like Indonesian too. When you say hello, you answer the phone, hello. That's right. When you're saying this hello is English, but when you say hello, this is German. German people break it to two syllables. Hello. Like that's, that's famous on hello. Is it me who you're looking for? Yeah. Sanko says hello, German, hola, Spanish. In Swedish, it is also hello. Yeah, thank you. Very good. Okay. okay. Thank Kiko, Kiko. 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 Yeah, the animal, Kiko, lizard. Uh, how, how do you spell it? Yeah. Uh, G E C K O G E C K O Gecko Gecko and Gecko. Oh yes, I got it. Gecko. Yeah, by the remember you have to stress on C, so it is Gecko. Stress oh, on Gecko. Yes, that is the correct in the pronouns. I have just checked it from the, my dictionary, gecko. You see, this is there is an amazing part of this plural. It could be, it can take S or O E E S. It can take both of them. Gecko, yes. Geckos, it can be also possible that if you use O E S, that is also correct. So this is an exception, like, like similarly volcano, Volcanoes, OS or OES. Similarly, gecko, geckos. Okay. Look, some of the words we took from Latin, like cactus, focus. When you are making plural, cactus become cacti or cacti. Both are correct. Okay. Cacti or cacti. Both both pronunciations are correct. Remember. Uh, this pronunciation varies and comes from the British IP and American IPA. So cacti, cacti, fossi, fossi, both are correct. If I'm not mistaken, let me check fossi. Yeah? How did they sound it? Yes, so fossi, fossi. Remember that if it is a foreign word, 
Yeah, in foreign words, the pronunciation doesn't follow the rules. It depends how those people pronounce and how we pronounce. Like croissant, yeah, a French word, that food, croissant, yeah, in English. They saw uh, French people say croissant within through nose, but we don't use nose. Generally, say croissant. Yeah, similarly, many other words at the part of English language. <laughs> Great. Do you have any other example? You know, uh, octopus. Octopus. Yeah. What is the plural form of octopus? Octopuses. 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 Any other? Octopus has four plurals, you know? <laughs> Over the period. Of, yes. Four, it, four, plural. four plurals for the same word because. Uh, because of the English language variation, British oh, people say, yeah, octopi or octopi. Octopus is also correct. Octopus. Mm -hmm. Very good. Or uh, is it octopi said or octopi? Yes. Octopi. Okay, so octopi. Some people say octopuses. Mm -hmm. And someone said once upon a time used to use this plural octopods. Octop. Yeah, octopods. I'm writing O C T O P O D E S. Octopods. Yes. Because that's right. In science, pod means legs. So octopod means the uh, animal which has got eight legs. Yeah, okay. Oh, the time is going quickly. 20 minutes more. Blimey. Let's go it faster. Okay, next one is if a, a noun has SIS, it becomes ES for plural, like analysis, analysis. Ellipsis, ellipsis, okay? Okay, and also some some other Latin word, like O-N, it becomes a phenomenon, phenomena. Okay, Latin word, there are more Latin words. Criterion, criteria, hypothesis, hypothesis, antenna, antenna, formula, formula, okay? Genius, genie, ponchos, ponchos, tempo, tempi. Okay. Okay. By the way, do you know the meaning of pluralisms? I was going to ask this word. You know plurals, yeah? Pluralism. I'm writing it. Pluralism. You know plural. Uh, yeah, nearly there. Kind of idea. Yeah, some kind of idea. Idea of what? What? I heard it somewhere, but I forgot. <laughs> yeah, you're nearly there. Your answer is fifty percent correct. So. But it only it on system, so I know it's an idea. <laughs> Yeah, the idea could be anything. If you want to be specific, maybe it's idea about the say myths, you know, uh, or the idea about the politics or idea about the religions. Okay, or maybe you can say the idea about we call sometimes dogmatism. You remember doctrine dogmatism? Some people have some old belief, like uh, superstition, like when you're going out from your home. If you say black crow, you're going to have a bad day, for example. If you see two sparrows, you're going to have a good day. So it is something like that, okay? We call in that case pluralism. So your answer is correct. Some nouns don't change at all when they're pluralized, like sheep, sheep, okay? Series, spaces, deer. 
Okay. Um, if you remember, uh, in pronunciation rule, if there are two similar kind of vowel, it is a bit longer sound always. So in sheep, sheep actually, this should be a long sound. Similarly, deer. Look at this difference. I'm, I have written one word, D-E-E-R and D-A-A-R. Yehona and everyone, okay? The basic difference of these two sound is, first one, there are two vowel sound, E and A, and second one is two vowel sound, but similar. So the, when there are similar types of two vowel, it always become a bit longer. So dear and dear. We use dear everywhere, dear sir, when you're writing a letter. Oh, hello dear, how are you, for example, yeah? You can say your friends or family members. Oh dear. You know the meaning of oh dear? Like oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. You see, English language is a crazy language. Oh dear. Oh dear, what have you done? Oh dear, what happened to me? Oh my God, yes. And in Britain, we use very often. You may have heard from me, blimey. We say, blimey, what happened? Okay, it's blimey, I'm, I'm writing here. Yeah. It's a totally British expression, blimey. Oh, blimey, something bad happened. Blimey, yeah, B-L-I-M-E-Y. Yes, oh, blimey. Uh, without using O, you can also use it, Anna, yeah. Okay, make uh, caught one fish. Uh, so look, about the fish, very often, look at the sentence. Can you please read out loudly, uh, Ihona? Mark caught one fish, but I caught the three fish in okay generally the word fish doesn't have any plural if it is the similar kind of fish but why when you catch different kinds of fish it becomes plural fishes okay uh, similarly group or uh, i think um what's the other word i'm trying to remember party depending on the sentence it can be singular it can be plural so for example the group decided to ban him. Okay, now if the group has more than one member, so the group has decided to ban him. It is singular here. Group as a collective noun, singular identity. Now the group members have taken a decision to elect him captain. Now look, now group members, it is plural, group with members. So when we can use another plural number with a collected noun, it becomes a plural. Is it clear, Johanna and everyone? Sh shall I rephrase it again? If it is not okay, let me know. Okay, plural noun rules for irregular nouns. Do you know the irregular or regular nouns? Right. Mm -hmm. Like child, children, goose, geese, man. Okay, how do you differentiate this sound? Man, man. Remember in man, a, a is a long, longer sound. Man, man. A man is always a man, and a woman is always a woman. Now, for the plural, women, it is. Remember, this sound is a bit different. Women, yeah, women. Tooth, teeth, foot, feet, mouse, mice, person, people. Look, uh, person, people, person can be also plural with S, persons, and people is also another plural form. So I took, I took, uh, I took, uh, I took two seats for two persons in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. That is correct. And you can say I, I booked or I booked I, two, I booked two people. Booked. Hey, Prono, welcome. Oh, it's echoing. Yeah, thank you. You're late, Pranav. We've got 14 minutes more. 
Anyway, you can watch it later. Sorry, you wanna go on? I cook for two person. Mm -hmm. Or okay. two persons is correct, but mostly, uh, broadly, we don't use two person. Instead, you can see two people. Very often, you may you may ha hear people use oh, I've seen an uh, in Indian people. I've seen an Indian people. Uh, there are many Indian people. There are many Canadian people. There are many American people. Generally, oh, oops, it's a bit echoing, Pranav. So, what happened basically, we shouldn't use, yes, you're audible, but you're, you're echoing. Please listen to us, we don't have much time. <laughs> okay, you have missed most of the part, you can re watch it later. And uh, we are almost in a few more pages to finish it. Okay, so what happens basically, as I was saying, uh, after Indian or after American, we don't need to use people. There are Indian people, there are American people. Very often people say that. Uh, in broader aspect, these are incorrect ex you know, expressions. Just say uh, there are Indians or there are Americans, there are like uh, Filipino, there are Indonesian, there is Pakistanis. There are Bangladeshis, okay? Yohana, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, we lost Pranav because Pranav might have some connection issues. Okay, um, now look, some of the nouns have different forms of plural which bear different meanings. That means they have got different meanings. Okay, brother, brothers. Brethren. brethren brethren means in a society brethren. yeah brethren look at this da is a non unvoiced so unvoiced means this th should be pronounced through your tooth and by touching the tongue through tooth brethren brethren die dies Okay, look, dice means coining or stamping. And dice, you play the dice, eh? Like, you play, we call, I don't know the... Um, the cube. cube, yes, the dice. You play, there's one, number two, number three, four, five, six, six different shapes. Then fish, look, fishes. We, we got the example earlier. Collective, when it is similar kind of fish. Index, indexes or indices in algebra, penny, pennies, or pence, like we, yes, in books, separate coins. Uh, we call pence in the UK and also many other countries, like the coin, one pence, two pence, five pence. Monica said, better late than never, <laughs> yes. Then uh, staff, stubs, staffs, bodies as assistants. But generally, if there is, uh, it doesn't have any plural. We don't use in plural, remember. Okay, special rules. Many borrowed words, that means foreign words, they're foreign plural endings. However, many nouns of foreign origin attach as, like antenna, antennas. Remember, we used antenna earlier. Uh, good goods, alumnus, alumni, curriculum, curricula. Okay, curriculum, curricula is the plural. Analysis, data, data, bacterium, bacteria. Okay, it's remember very often, uh, but you know, in the modern grammar, they say data can be singular, data can be plural, depending on the usage. That is true. Uh, Pranav, that's okay, you can join me. And also, dear members, you should remember that because you have s uh, subscribed to this course, 
you can join me any other time whenever i'm on my live stream you're welcome to join me and talk to me it will be much helpful if you join me other time we have got eight minutes more then time the lesson will be finished but as a hello benefits of you know subscription you can join me unlimited time just what you have to do when you come to my live stream you have to send me a hop on request or if you're from the mobile you'll find the video cam symbol just you have to touch it then i can add you all right so as i was saying in modern english uh, many grammarians say data can be singular and plural depending on how you use similarly media medium media can be singular plural there is always dispute so was is was is view is a french word box was is do you know what is was is In desert, you know, there is a place where you can find water and other suitable uh, fertile area. We call it wasis. Uh, parenthesis, parenthesis, crisis, crisis, phenomenon, phenomena, again, analysis, analysis. Okay, these are the words which are always singular. Remember some of these words, uh, series, aircraft, salmon, ship. Grouse, information, scenery, furniture, bread. I didn't add bread. News, economics, linguistics, spaces. Water in the middle of the desert. Yes, Monica. And always remember to make, uh, please complete the homework and send it to me by email. I didn't get the email of Monica. Monica, if you please send me your email, you know so that if you have any question and comments always do contact me either through the subscriber chat or through the email i'll be happy to answer you okay and look everyone everybody anyone anybody someone somebody no one or none nobody's always singular okay Th these are confusing yes now if you use every with other word like every teacher every student every person it is also singular too because every is a singular okay Johanna and everyone once again every if you start with any word with every and there is another word it is always singular. like every teacher is a good teacher every student is an amazing student of my live streams okay so these words are always plural generally data bacteria people Police, cattle, army, Caesars, pants. Okay, we are at the. Okay, uh, first, so we are going to say, may I borrow, uh, or like this, uh, can you lend me some Caesars? You say like that, it's some. Okay, we, we don't say, when you are using Caesars plural as a singular, we have to use a pair of Caesars. Oh, okay. Remember, scissor has two parts. May I borrow a pair of scissors? Uh, okay. Yes, and I have got your homework and also Senko. I've got your homework too, so I'm going to check it and send you back later. It is always better, Senko. I've seen it. You have used a pen and paper. If you can use computer, that will be better for me. So that if there is anything amending, I can do it quickly. Any amendment. Okay, remember, you have uh, given a good example, borrow and lend. Very often we are confused. What does borrow mean and what does lend mean? I think they mean the same, but the way we use it, like, can you lend me, but may I borrow your scissors? May I borrow a pair of scissors, okay? pair of scissors okay uh, when you're saying borrow means you're asking something from the person okay and when the person is giving it to you you can say that person so i'm lending you a pair of scissors borrow and lend is opposite words remember and we need to be careful when you're using i've seen many of our learners they're always confused 
instead of borrow they use lend and instead of lend they use borrow so once again when you're asking something from anyone you phone and everyone you should use borrow or you can say may i borrow a pair of scissors yeah say it again Okay, if you can rephrase the sentence, you can say, can you please lend me your pair of scissors? Now you're asking him that he should... Lend me. Yes, now is, it has got similar meaning. May I bor uh, bor uh, borrow a pair of scissors? Or, Yuhuna, can you please lend me your pair of scissors, please? Did, did you get the point? And is it also the same with pants? Pants. A pair of pants. Yes, pair of pants. Do you know tongs? In the kitchen, we use tongs, like steel, two pieces to grab the food. Tongs, yeah? Similarly, tongs. OK, uh, another confusing word, bread. Very often, people say that, can you use bread as a plural or singular? What is your opinion, Yifana? We should say a loaf of bread. A loaf of bread? Two loaf of bread. Loaf, OK, L-O-A-F. Loaf is singular or plural? For a loaf, it's singular. And what would be the plural, if you remember the rules according to the rules? L O A P E. V E S, loaves. L O A P E S, yes. Loaves, okay. Now, if you don't want to use loaf, someone may not know the meaning of loaf. That person can say, may I have a piece of bread in that case, okay? A piece of bread, yeah. Sometimes we cut the bread into pieces, like we chopped. Then you can say, may I have a, a piece of bread, please? Okay? Singular, loves, yes, Sanko, well done. Thank you very much. So we've got one more minute. Um, that is the end of the lesson two. Remember to do the homework and send it to me once again. And always please do ask me if you have any questions or comments. Okay. Uh, by asking the questions is the only way you can always get your answer. Remember, if you are silent, if you are shy, that means you're <laughs> losing something. And uh, thank you very much once again for all of you for joining. Uh, remember that this an hour is not enough. Practice at home study well and if there's anything to know always do contact me i'm always there to help and support you everyone okay and also uh -huh. you're very welcome i'm going to make my life since later when i'm free if you're free please do join i'll be happy to talk to you by joining in a live stream is the one way we can develop your fluency then time you can use this grammar whatever you like bye everyone <laughs>